everyone welcome back to Wooden's kitchen today i'm back with this banachin soy recipe that is everybody's favorite okay it is so delicious so fluffy it is infused with flavors from the beef from the veggies and everything else mixed in with it it's just delicious so normally we serve it like this looking well decorated with veggies and you know boiled eggs with our onion gravy sprinkled all over the rice and some at the center okay this is a dish to die for all right before we waste any more time let's dig into it on my ingredient list i have here some beef shanks cut into pieces some bay leaves to be fried with the beef okay and for my pounded ingredients i have different colors of bell pepper some garlic onions spring onions habanero pepper and bay leaves and the spices i'm going to be blending with the blended ingredients up i mean black pepper and some maggi seasoning okay we have some oil we have some mixed vegetables and in here i have three cups of rice okay so i'm giving the actual cup of rice because this is very important in regards to the amount of water that you're going to be using to cook this recipe these are the ingredients that we need for this benachin swear okay and for the swear itself we're gonna be needing onions bell peppers maggi seasoning or salt mustard vinegar uh, mixed vegetables black pepper and a little bit of oil to saute them in so i added everything to the bowl in goes my maggi seasoning or salt That's one cube, add it about a teaspoon of black pepper, or add it accordingly, mustard, and some vinegar, okay, all right. mix that all up. So first I'm going to be salting my beef, the only seasoning I'm adding here is salt. Add salt to the beef. Okay. And set that aside. Rice I'm gonna wash clean and put in the microwave for two minutes to steam. Okay, that is very important. Then into my blender, I add my pounded ingredients. With all that in, I add my black pepper. Add about close to a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay. Cover that up and blend. That's what we're looking for. Now all our preparations are set. Let's start cooking. With my pot set, I add in my oil. So a full cup of this size. All of that goes in. All is hot in goes my sea snail, which is optional if you don't have it, it's okay. And the beef goes in with the beef. So we're going to fry this until golden brown. So beef is golden brown now. Now I'm going to add in one liter of water. So I'm adding one liter of water and allow that to completely evaporate. Check the beef it is, if it is tender before I can add another one. So you can repeat this step as much as you can until the meat is tenderized. Okay? So the water goes in. Now I'm going to cover it up and let the beef uh, tenderize. With my pot set, I added in a little bit of oil, just a little bit of oil to saute the, the onion gravy. Olives also taste really good in this recipe. If you like olives, especially the green olives, you can add it to it as well. Okay, you can add it to this onion gravy. All right, and it's so delicious. So onion gravy is also all set. You don't want this to die out, so when it gets like this, that's the perfect consistency or crunchiness that you're looking for. You want this onion to be a little bit crunchy, but not raw, okay? So, set that aside. In the meanwhile, our beef is all set, okay? The water has reduced, and the beef has cooked almost to 85%. 
Now is the perfect time to fry our blended ingredients with the beans. So that goes in. Almost forgot to press tomatoes, so I slice them into cubes like that, and in it goes. Because tomato, fresh tomato, is important in this recipe. So that goes in as well. Now I'm going to fry this until it becomes golden brown, okay, and fragrant. And I left about two tablespoons. This I'm going to be adding when I'm putting in the rice. Look at how beautiful this is. This is what gives that rice the flavor and the fluffiness, okay. It's still looking good, so we're going to keep frying. So our frying has reached the stage where we can add in our rice. You can see how beautiful and golden this is. That's what we're looking for. You have to be careful though, it should not be burnt. So from this stage, now we're gonna add in our rice, the one that we put in the microwave. So if you put it in the microwave, that is what steams it, okay? So I'm going to add in my rice, add in the remaining blended ingredients. All of that goes in and um, mix it up. Now I'm going to add in my water. I've added one liter of water, mix it all up, okay? At this stage, you can taste to see whatever is missing, salt, black pepper, whatever is missing, you can add it. And now I'm also going to add in my mixed vegetables and extra frozen carrots. All of my mixed vegetables in and the extra frozen carrots, mix that all up. Cover it up and reduce your stove, okay, to low. 10-15 minutes, let's check on our rice. As you can see, it is steamed and you can see that some part of the rice are cooked. Now it's time to flip it. Flip it over. And let every part of it cook as well. So today my salads go to Baidu. Jai Jai Tanjai, Borom Istanbul, ah, Bene Chidbimo, Yorek Lako Yekalte, ah, Naresa Jama. So, Baidu is in Istanbul, and for all your Istanbul needs, buying goods from Istanbul to any part of the, the world, he is your guy to go to, okay? You can contact him, and I will put his number down below in the description box uh, to contact him on WhatsApp, all right, for all your Istanbul needs. Or if you want to travel to this, uh, Istanbul for business, he is your perfect tour guide. He will take you to all the stores around. It goes to my husband's cousin, Nisi. Nisi, hopefully this recipe helps you to be able to cook your own benachin. Okay, since you love this recipe so much, I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. Try it out and you will just love it. Okay. There you have it. Bon appetit and see you next Saturday. Bye-bye.